Hello, hello. Um, so, welcome to a vlog. Um, I'm just going to be showing what I'm up to this week, a few new home bits, fun leak stories in the bathroom. Um, I, it's Monday morning and I've just got a few bits um, of work bits to shoot today. So many videos these days. <laughs> I feel like, yes, everything is video. That is very much the new form of content. So, um, which kind of, I'm obviously, I'm a photographer so it kind of takes me a bit longer sometimes but I feel like I'm just getting into my groove making lots of reels and stuff like that um, and continuing to vlog as well um, I'm glad I bought my vlog camera like a year ago when I decided I was going to start making vlogs again because it's very handy for all my um, video content um, so yeah hope you enjoy so this is my bathroom when I'm <laughs> trying to shoot stuff it's a little bit messy um yeah there's lots going on here but the light is kind of good today i actually quite like it when it's quite gray because it's such like a big um light box which is obviously great for um kind of even filming i am so excited that my window box has arrived from window flare they send you um the box and the plants and you can get plants i'm going to pop this one here and you get plants um every season to um, that are going to work with that season. So I've got the spring box, so I'm really excited to see what it looks like. So how amazing is this? They come all, I didn't realize, I thought they'd come separate and I'd have to plant them. They literally come all ready, looking beautiful. And that's the size I can tighten on the side of the windowsill so that it doesn't fall. So gorgeous. Well, that was so wonderfully easy. How beautiful do they look? And now I'm gonna tighten these. It comes with its own screw. I had to get the vacuum out because a bit of soil got everywhere to tighten these. Can't wait to see how it looks from the outside. How cute, I love it. So I chose the terracotta box, but there's a, I think there's white and there's darker ones as well. It literally took me a couple minutes to screw these in. So it's like super secure. <laughs> no falling here. And from the outside too. Okay, so this is the current situation with the rail. I've got the lamp there in the bedroom. And this is where the wardrobe is gonna go. It's gonna be curved up here. And I'm very excited because I can actually hide more stuff in it rather than having to make it look quite neat. I'm not sure how made it's actually gonna be because made.com I'm <laughs> definitely doesn't sound for already made since it's been five months since I ordered it. <sighs> I don't think it's gonna be, it's not gonna be fully flat pack right it's not gonna be IKEA but I, I don't know and I can't find on the site how made it's gonna be but they have said where are we delivering it to like what bedrooms, I mean what room. So I'm hoping, I, you know, I might have to put a shelf and some feet on, but it's not gonna be a whole thing, but yeah, it'll be there. I'm gonna have to figure out where I wanna put that lamp because obviously there'll be the doors. So I don't think the, sam the lamp will be able to go there. So I might have to move that somewhere else in the bedroom, but I'm just gonna assess it kind of once <laughs> it's in and I can decide where I want things to be. So that went really badly. <laughs> so the delivery people came and it was in a big box. So they took it out because I have quite a narrow front door. And they, to shorten a very long, annoying story, they dropped it several times on the way up, said it wouldn't fit through my front door. And I said, no, no, I've measured it, it will. Got it up. Um, then they got to this hallway here where the stairs were going up and they were like, it's not going to fit. And I said, well, you said that about our stairs. Like I've measured it. I'm pretty sure it will. And, um, they said, even though after being four hours late, they didn't have time to try a different way to get it up. So either I had to reject it or accept it and get it upstairs myself. Even though two men whose job it is to carry things inside couldn't lift it very easily. And then they completely messed up my wall and uh, wouldn't give me time to take off the doors to try something else out. So you can see here, they've done that here, here, made things there, and on the banister in here as well. 
And um, so I rejected the delivery. So I still don't have a wardrobe. Thanks, maid. Can't unrecommend you enough. Um, that was really fun. <laughs> oh, Lella. Um, it's just like, I just really wanted to like get it sorted and have a wardrobe and I'm so excited. <laughs> Watching the video back, I'm so chuffed with myself and no, that didn't happen, but it's fine. <sighs> I know where I'm not gonna shop again, obviously. Uh, the rail is fine for the moment. I've got, you know, pretty good storage options. You know, I've made everything fit somewhere for like six months, so it's okay. I'm just really bummed out that I waited five months for that wardrobe and then that all happened and now i still don't have a wardrobe but c'est la vie um and other fun updates there's also a leak <laughs> coming from upstairs now so if you might remember um if you were following me when i first did my upstairs bathroom there's another video on it if you haven't seen it so this is a stairs to upstairs the shower is like above here and we had to chop out this bit once but basically there's like all these kind of cracks if you can see there and the other day I noticed a few droplets just there um, which is why I put this down preemptively I mean they're, they're, it was wet and actually it's dried really well those people were like oh sizal can't get wet at all but you actually can't tell where it was which is good I've just kept here that here in case I'm um, obviously not having showers up here luckily I've got the other bathroom here so um, it's been some fun times oh i'm zoomed in um but all hopefully sortable i'm hoping it's just a bit of the silicone has come off in the bathroom to be honest like around the side i'll show you now actually um because i had a really good look after i saw it it was just a few drips it wasn't like gushing out which i'm hoping is a good thing which means it's not like some pipe that's like burst or something um but So, from my calculations, it's this tiny little bit, do you see? And I'm thinking, I mean, I don't think water could get through there, but you never know, right? I've got a plumber coming tomorrow. Um, this has all got like waterproof grout, it was all checked and everything, so I'm pretty sure it's not um, like this. But there's obviously loads of bits around where it could possibly be, I don't know have some silicone that's kind of dripping through because obviously it only needs to be a really tiny hole for it to like make enough impact and obviously the shower was there so that hole would actually get quite a lot of water flow when I'm showering um but hello but who knows hopefully hopefully this bathroom will be in action soon and hopefully there will be a wardrobe in my bedroom soon but the wardrobe I'm more okay with actually not having a shower and not so much that I definitely want to be working um, and I'm sure it's fixable but yeah it might just be that this bit kind of needs to be opened up again and dried out but as I've learned since becoming a homeowner shit happens and you just have to deal with it so that's me today um got lots of work on as well but i'm kind of having a kind of life admin -y afternoon before um shooting more work later on um and updating you on bits too So having a little bit of a kind of lazy afternoon, had a really crazy work day yesterday, um, went really well, I just had three jobs to shoot so it was pretty full on um, and I went up to my first 
last reform of Pilates class this morning, which was so nice. I got up and the sun was shining and I cycled there. It was so nice to be back in the studio because I really miss doing reformer. Um, and then I've just had a few calls and now I just have a bit of lunch and I'm just having a bit of downtime um, before more work this afternoon and this evening. Um, but all about balance, right? Just thinking about like how everything is like opening up and, and I think loads of us feel like this, just like kind of like really excited, but also like, I'm not like scared of it in advance, I don't think. I'm more like, I like I saw a few people last weekend and like the amount I get tired is crazy, like more than I used to, because I'm just not used to like having outward energy for other people. <laughs> um, for more than like an hour or so, so got a friend's birthday this weekend and I'm like I really want to have loads of energy for that but I feel like I'll probably get overexcited at first and then just like tire myself out <laughs> uh who knows but um it'll be fun I feel like we're just all adapting going back into stuff and it's all like very exciting because obviously we've all wanted this for quite some time I'm honestly most excited about travel though I think um yeah like the thought of booking somewhere and knowing I can go and having like a proper summer by the ocean because normally I would go this is the first of all probably hugely I'm aware don't worry um normally I would visit my friends in Australia like in normally like February or March obviously wasn't able to go this year luckily was able to go last year for a friend's wedding and that was my last travel vlog actually in Australia Oh no, I did France last year, but that was like kind of off season, so it was kind of cold. It was still lovely to go to South France, but like I'm dreaming of like a really hot, summery ocean, pool, view, sunset, drinks vibe. So hopefully this year, but if not, next. Also, I do have to mention these sheets are the Mella ones, the eucalyptus um, silk ones, and they are so soft i wish i could share softness through the camera honestly um i absolutely love them whenever i have them on i like cannot get out of bed very easy they're incredible and really good for the skin too i'm obsessed with these lilacs right outside the studio window it's raining right now but i had gotten few of them last week to put in a vase and they smell amazing and I love that I can just reach them <laughs> out the back window. So I'm just setting up for a line I'm doing for Origins. It's quite sunny which is quite nice light but I'm worried it's going to be really bright for once I don't want dark sunlight <laughs> but this is good so I'm hoping it's a little louder and it's bright. Um, it's on the mega mushroom range. Um, so I feel like I've done so many over the past year, like I was saying about videos, I feel like I'm a seasoned liver, liver, <laughs> um, so I don't get too nervous before anymore, but obviously I'm always just trying to remember all the points I need to hit and all the products I need to talk about and all the ingredients I want to talk about, um, so it's more just like thinking things over the nerves, I guess. So, leak update. I have a new hole in my ceiling, which obviously is great. <laughs> um, but you can see like that's my drain there from the shower. Um, so this is the stairs and my shower's upstairs, obviously. Um, they did this, they haven't said that they knew exactly what it is, but apparently like one of those, the little gray ones was something was loose on there slightly and they siliconed in the bathroom as well. So I'm hoping that does the trick. Um, and I'm actually not mad that this is, hasn't been fixed yet because I feel like I might as well just keep a hole until it's properly fixed <laughs> rather than make another in a few weeks. So I'm trying this thing but I like don't straighten my hair as much so I never like straighten it completely. This, these are my natural waves but I normally straighten like along here and say the top bit um, kind of like there around the back a bit. But I want to see if I can kind of have it more 
curly but it just takes a bit longer to kind of figure out in the day um but anyway it's saturday morning i'm about to do my live on my mentorship group um chatting with the wonderful estee um and got <clears throat> a friend's birthday party later and i'm hoping the weather holds out I'm praying um but thank you for watching the vlog i hope it was fun um sorry i've got the internet on in the background um but yes thank you for watching um subscribe if you haven't um that would mean a lot to me to keep making more as well um and i hope you have a lovely weekend